Hey everyone, it's Cole from A-Plus Power Sports and some very exciting news today. In Elkhorn, Wisconsin, we are the very first Trails West trailer dealer in the state of Wisconsin. Um, so let's take a look at this. This is a 2022 34 foot gooseneck. Trails West has been making snowmobile trailers since 2009 and we're going to show you why they are the most premier trailer that you guys can buy. Um, the first thing is this is a 34 foot boondock edition so they have Barant and boondock edition trailers and the boondock what you're really getting with this is you lose the front door here so a couple advantages is you don't have as many hinges to deal with um, and your side door to get in and out of the trailer is pushed right up to the front here instead of having the loading ramp so nice you can flip down your step here um, and pop up inside the trailer and without having to go from the back all the way to the front with all your storage and gear also a very sleek look. This is a color matched all black trailer, so it gives it a really nice look pulling behind your trucks. All the doors are locking on it, RV style latches, and it comes open and clips right in to the side of the trailer. Uh, we'll go inside in a minute here, but another cool feature right up in the front is our access panel to get to our uh, power jack. So with a trailer this big, Trails West does not miss with how big of the axles we go with. So we have two 6,000 pound axles on this. The trailer weighs about 6,300 pounds. And the way they distribute the weight on the trailer, 75% of the gross vehicle weight is over the rear axles. So 25% is going to be put in the bed of the truck with the gooseneck. So that gives us a total like hauling and weight capacity of this trailer of a little over 15,000 pounds. So plenty of room for all your four wheelers, razors, um, and snowmobiles. With both axles being a torsion spring axle, along with electric brakes on them, not only does it ride really well, but it can stop very quickly for you on those slippery winter roads. Um, also, that 75%, like I was talking about earlier, really makes this trailer pull um, in line with the truck and you don't get a lot of movement behind your trucks. You definitely wanna be looking at at least a three quarter ton to pull this trailer, as it is a massive trailer to be pulling around. On the left-hand driver's side of the trailer, um, this one is equipped with a 40-gallon fuel cell. So we fill it up right at the bottom of the trailer here, keeps all of our weight at a low center of gravity, and you actually fill it up in the front. I'll show you guys that in a little bit here. Um, you have two fuel-filling doors for the sleds or razors. Open up your door here, send the fuel nozzle through at the gas station, and get your vehicles filled up with gas. They're also locking, which is a really nice safety feature. At the rear of the trailer, I'll show you a couple cool features. Uh, the first one being our two stabilizer jacks. You can drop those down and use the front electric jack on the front of the trailer to position itself so it's pushing weight on the rear. Um, allows you to load the trailer without being hooked up to a truck and keeps it very stable. Looking at the rear, we have a loading light up on top with a uh, exterior switch on it. So loading at night or backing up, you can quickly turn that on and allows you to see. We have our red lights on top, um, our lights back here for brakes and blinkers, two huge hinges to control this massive door on the rear. It has lots of height back here, so pretty much any UTV you need to get inside, this trailer can handle it. To get the rear ramp door open, we have our two locking latches back here. You pull out and pull it open just like a hinge style on any other uh, enclosed trailer. Let the door come down slowly. With the two big springs, it's very light, um, but you can see that we have tons of uh, ski guides on this trailer, and that allows you to have tons of traction and not rip up the wood deck inside. With the rear ramp door open, you can see how massive this entryway is. Um, so pretty much any UTV, definitely gonna fit inside here. Now this trailer is equipped with the race doors. It is heated inside. So what you're gonna notice is the rear doors have a little flap on them which allows all the hot air to stay inside keeps the cold air out but with the race doors you have nice big windows so we can take these and shut them and this allows a lot of natural light to come in um, you can have the ramp out all the sleds outside and still be able to keep your heat indoors without having that door up underneath the neck of the trailer uh, we have our access panel so it's lockable by key you open this up and you're going to see our two dual batteries up here. There is also a solar panel on this trailer. So it's up on the roof, um, allows you to keep charging your batteries even if you cannot hook up to power. And even if you're not using the trailer, it keeps the batteries charged, making them last a lot longer. So two massive batteries up front, uh, two propane tanks because we have a dual heater system on this trailer with the extreme cold package. 
Spare tire stays tucked up under, front, under the front so we don't have to worry about rust getting on it. And we fill up our snowmobiles right in front here. So like I talked about, the 40 gallon fuel cell in back, you pull your sled or razor up front and fill it up for the day. Well, up in the front of the trailer, some very cool features we're gonna point out. Um, the, my favorite is the drying racks up here. So boot dryers, put your gloves on there, face masks, whatever you need, will dry them out overnight with the two uh, 40,000 BTU heaters, pumping out tons of heat. So one of them controls the heat racks along with the heating duct system for the interior of the trailer. So it gets nice and toasty warm in here. And the other one is pushing hot air underneath the floor of the trailer. And there are little drain holes here to allow the snow to melt off from your tracks and then come back in. And then there are actual um, drain tiles that push it to the back of the trailer to leave so it doesn't freeze. We have tons of storage racks up front here, uh, coat and bib hooks here. This is um, a feature that comes on the Boondock Edition and it is the monosuit holder. So we can hang them right from the ceiling, they can drip dry overnight um, with the heat being pushed throughout the trailer. At the control panel up here, we have our JVC Bluetooth and AM FM radio. It gets great reception, the antenna's up on the roof and it pulls in tons of radio stations. Four USB plugins that are dual a piece. Uh, we can see our battery voltage. Right now we're sitting at 12.1. In the front gooseneck portion of the trailer, um, we have two speakers up top, two more speakers in the back, and they run a kicker 12-inch subwoofer right in the front of the trailer. So tons of uh, sound coming out of this trailer. You can listen to your music, no problem. Uh, one time outlet up in the front here. Our fuse panel is underneath the little black cover right there. And then the black box up on the top with the wires going into it is for our solar panels. So the solar panels are charging the batteries on this trailer 24 seven. On the left side of our trailer here, we have two fold up benches, one on each side. Window, that is a sliding opening window so we can get fresh air and ventilation through it. A mirror so we can tuck in our face mask when we're taking off for the morning. A set of cup holders here. Again, our fuel door is right there, easy to get to. And another bench that locks in so you guys can sit, get your boots on and get ready for the morning. On the back left-hand side of the trailer, we have more storage racks up top, four USB chargers again, a coat rack, LED lighting on the top and bottom of the trailer. And this is our third bench that locks in to sit down. At the right rear of the trailer, we have more storage racks. You can hook your bungee straps if you need to. This is our fire escape window. Pop the levers and pop out if you have to. Staying in the rear, we have our last cabinet here. That's one of three. It is double shelved, so we can have plenty of storage room inside of it. Um, this is our workstation. So again, with the benches, you pull it up, it locks in, gives you a really nice area to work on things if you need to. Above the workbench, we have a um, little workstation here. So paper towel down on the bottom, three spots for cans of cleaners, degreasers, and plenty of storage up top. Um, our rear speakers are right there, along with a 110 outlet above the storage, or excuse me, above the table to work on. Two things you'll notice in the back here, we have another powered fan here in the rear and a powered fan all the way up in the front to pull that exhaust fume up and out of the trailer. Um, this is actually a reinforced brace here so you guys can work on your snowmobiles if you need to. Lift up the rear front end, you can put a little winch system or a pulley on there um, and work on your sleds right inside the trailer. Two more benches down on the right hand side of the trailer and these are two heated storage cabinets. Now, they're not just any old storage cabinet, they have hooks built right into them to keep your helmet in there upright, um, allows you to dry them off overnight if they do get wet. On the floor of the Boondock Edition trailer, this one has the standard option of ski guides. Now, you're able to add track mats in it if you need to. This one was optioned without them. We have 10 tie down points so you can uh, strap your snowmobile down or your razor, depending on what we're hauling. And like I was talking about before, you can see these holes here. Now this is allowing all the heat to come up from the heaters, dry off your um, snowmobiles at night and get them ready for the next morning. Um, they also act as a drain. So all the water drains down into there and has a channel that walks to the, or pushes the water to the back of the trailer. All right, this is the first Trails West trailer we have at A Plus Power Sports. It's gonna be our Boondock Edition 34 foot gooseneck. It's a sweet trailer, so if you guys want to come, touch, feel, see what it's all about, um, we're going to be 
uh, having this trailer here all winter for you guys to look at it. I have more on the way. They're on their way out here as we speak. Uh, I'm gonna have tons of options and I will be making future videos with the different packages you can get from Trails West. If you guys have any questions on the trailer, leave a comment in the section below. I'll get answered right back to you. If you guys wanna see what I have in stock right now, check out aplusride.com. If you liked the video, hit the like and subscribe button. And always, thanks for watching.